guys, welcome to Freckle Friday. Um, it is probably been what two, two, three weeks since uh, AFO, but uh, I really wanted to tell you about that because I didn't get a chance to actually film anything. I just pretty much went, 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 go, go, go. It was it was really really busy for me. Uh, it's that's the busiest I've ever been volunteering for a convention, but I I think it was really worth it. So what had happened was um, I didn't get to be Vic's handler, unfortunately. Um, he he did some things and breached contract and uh, and made the the con people a little mad. So they actually got uh, they gave him someone that they knew who he was because I hadn't been around for like five years or so, six years. So you know they knew who this other person was so they gave it to him I got John Swayze now if you don't know who John Swayze is he actually does a lot of voices um, there for like side characters mostly fatherly characters and uh, the joke is he usually replaces people <laughs> so he did the uh, the voice of uh, like the second half of uh, Gendo from Evangelion. I think that's his name, Gendo. He's the dad. Uh, he, get in the damn suit, <laughs> Genji. But uh, he also does uh, Lord Death in Soul Leader. He does... Um, he, he's really proud of this one. He does... Uh, um, Kuro, Kuro Tetsu, I think his name is, from uh, Boy and the Beast. He's the bear. And uh, and I think that that voice actually... Or that, that character suits him well. Like That's, that's him in general. He just doesn't want to be actually I don't know I don't know the full story for the movie but I want to see it because it's it's by the same people that did wolf children uh, I love that animation style so he's he's in that um, we got to talk we got to drink we got to generally have fun and it was supposed to be you know one guest service person per guest that's usually how it goes but uh, we started the weekend with three people Plus the uh, the the person that the uh, the con person knew or the uh, the the con leader knew uh, for Vic, so we had four people, and then one person had to go, so it was just three people and that one person on Vic solely. Uh, the other person, uh, Cor Corianne, I believe, Corine, I can't remember. I'm sorry, <laughs> I'm so bad with names, especially when I'm just running and running and running. I, I saw her maybe four times throughout the <laughs> throughout the weekend. Um, but she basically was, uh, was, um, latched on to two of the guests, Michael, Sinter, Nicholas, and Stephanie something? Oh, I can't remember. Uh, but I, I always saw her with them. <laughs> so, so she was helping them out because they were, they were participating in Gish, Gishwis, Gishwishes, Gish, the, the giant scavenger hunt that Misha, Misha Collins tends to, uh, tends to tout and get a lot of people involved in. Um, I don't know if it's his, his thing, but anyway, uh, that started the same weekend, so Michael and, and Stephanie were, were working on that. It was really cool to see what they were doing, because was, there was a lot of stuff, you know, it's a big scavenger hunt that you had to get things for. So, she, um, Corrine, Corianne, Corey, she was, uh, she was with them for most of the weekend, and I got, I got to hang out with Aaron Dismuke, I got to hang out with, um... Oh no, I forgot his name. Oh, but he's really cool. He did the voice of He's in like Fairy Tale. He's he's done he's done a million things. I'll put his name here cuz I forgot. There was so much. I got to hang out with Ruben Langdon. I got to hang out with all of the guests pretty much. I got to see everybody. I got to talk to everybody. Um so it was really neat. I got to see Vic again and um I tried to recreate the photo that I posted in the last video, uh, or in the video that I was talking about AFO. Um, tried to recreate it, and the guy that took it, took it blurry, so then we retook it, and then I just look like crap, so <laughs> I'm like, ah, oh, just, uh, I'll deal, I'll deal with it. Whatever. <laughs> so, and I got photos with everybody else, and that was really fun. Um, let's see, I got, I got asked by John to be his handler again at UmiCon in Daytona, so I'm going there, and I got asked by the head guest services because, um, because I stepped up and pretty much just was, I guess, a good part of the team. He says he wants me there too, so I'll be there. I'll be at UmiCon. I'll be helping John Swayze and maybe all the other guests again. <laughs> hopefully not. I, I, hopefully it's just John. 
but if not, I'm, I'm there to step up, you know, <laughs> good times. So, yeah, I, I, I pretty much just wanted to talk about that and, and give you a little update about what I did and what I got to do there because it was really fun and I'm hoping like I'm hoping I got to I was able to network because I, I I dropped a lot of lines and I was really uncomfortable doing it but maybe it'll further further my uh, my dreams of, of being a voice actor and uh, and being able to work behind the scenes and even do some audio work because I enjoy doing I enjoy messing with my audio for for my videos so um yeah let's just wish me luck I will break a leg or something and <laughs> and I will appreciate your your uh uh your support there um <laughs> <laughs> Lots of like little little seeds that I'm just kind of like watering and, and making sure it has nice little sunlight and it grows and just trying to get my ducks in a row and stuff like that. So we'll see how that goes. I hope it I hope it goes well. <laughs> I can only just sit here and go. <laughs> so, uh, so yeah, that was my AFO weekend. It was super super busy, but super fun. And uh, again, wouldn't have traded it for anything. Uh, it was it was really great. So. That's my Freckle Friday for this week. Thanks for joining me, and I'll see you next time. Bye!